hey everyone welcome back to this video and in today's video we are going to see how to create this beautiful looking custom tabs that changes the image on the right side and it works like this pretty awesome right you can see when i click on the tab it reveals the content in it and it changes the image on the right side and also the current active tab has this blue indicator that indicates that this is the current tab so that's what we are going to achieve in today's video so let's get started so all you have to do is follow the first link in the description of this video so you will get to this article on my website and this is where you can download the layout so let's click on download layout and you will go to this form right over here so here you need to enter your name and email and click on submit button so after doing that you will be subscribed to my newsletter so you can unsubscribe at any time so so here we got this button right over here to download the layout just click on it and as you can see the layout has been downloaded to my computer so this is the file in my computer so I'll just have to right click on it and click on extract here and then you will see this image switcher dot json file so this is what we are going to work with so let's come to our wordpress dashboard and create a new page so let's give it a title image switcher and then simply use db builder so let's choose build from scratch and that's it so now here we need to drag and drop this .json file that we have recently extracted so let's do this and as you can see it automatically opens this pop-up box and you can uncheck this replace existing content if it is already checked and then click on import db builder layout and it will import the layout on your page and that's it so as you can see now we have successfully imported this layout on our page so let me delete this section and as you can see and the fonts have been changed because of uh, my default font uh, it is a default font on my website currently so and uh, this is how it looks in the DV builder so let me uh, publish this page quickly and uh, see how it works on the front end let's exit the visual builder in a new tab and as you can see it works just it said in the demo page and it works perfectly so let's see what if you want to add something below this text module so this is a specialty section and this is the row like that and this is the image module okay so let's add something uh, below this module so it will be also shown uh, or it will be revealed with the text okay so let's add a new module button and then yeah okay let's add some text here let's add link go to alignment change it to right let's use custom styles make the text color white and background color this and then let's change the size okay let's go to okay let me uh, change it to five that looks good okay that looks good so what i have to do now is go to this text module right over here then go to advanced css id and class and then copy this css class from here and then go to this button module advanced css id and class and paste it right over here so now the button this button module will be revealed uh, with the text right over here okay let's save it and let me show you quickly let's come over here and refresh this page and as you can see when i will click on this custom tab as you can see button reveals with this text like that and it works perfectly so let's lastly let's see how to add some custom content uh, 
the, with this image right over here. So let's uh, resize this image. Maybe something like that. And I will quickly add a text module here. Let's change it to amazing. It is amazing. Okay, let's add a background color here. That looks like this. Text, change its color. Let me change the font. Let's make it bold and then change its size. Let's go to sizing. Make it like this 35% and spacing like that. And then go to text and change the alignment. Mm, that looks good. Okay looks good okay so now what i can do is uh, go to sizing make it right alignment and then simply add it right over here so now i have to go to this image module right over here and then go to advanced css id and class and simply copy the css class from here and go to this text module and do the same paste it here and then save the changes Okay, so let's see in the front end what we have. As you can see, it is showing with this image. So when I will go and switch to the second tab, it will go away. Like this. That is pretty interesting. I've just shown it to you. So if you want to change content or if you want to add something additionally, then you can do so easily so i think that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about this and i call it image switcher uh, let me know your suggestions what i call it so i'll change it in my blog post and uh, yeah that's it for today's video have a great day peace out